Thank you very much, Peter. Um, with regard to the situation on the Korean Peninsula, the United States is very concerned by the DPRK's August 4 violation of the Armistice Agreement, and we are monitoring the situation very closely. We are in close touch with our commanders and with our ROK ally, um, and the United States remains steadfast in its commitment to the defense of its allies and will continue to coordinate closely with the Republic of Korea. The DPRK's provocative actions heighten tensions, and we call on Pyongyang to refrain from actions and rhetoric that threaten regional peace and stability, and we are at one with our ROK ally on this. There's been a story out, I believe, today um, reporting the suspension of exercise Ulchi Freedom uh, Guardian. I just want to comment briefly on that. That exercise was suspended temporarily. I believe day before yesterday, in order to allow the U.S. side to coordinate with the ROK side on the the actual exchange of uh, artillery fire across the DMZ, across the DMZ, um, uh, that exercise has resumed uh, as planned, and we are conducting the exercise as planned. Uh, in general, very we're very concerned about the North Korean missile program and North Korean missile capabilities. Um, uh, and we are in constant touch with our ROK allies about the level of threat they pose. Um, I'm not going to get into um, an assessment of the situation on the ground, um, but uh, certainly, uh, as I've said, we call upon North Korea to cease provocations across the DMZ um, and restore calm to the peninsula, and that covers the use of missiles.